Oh yeah. Seems like it was only a week ago I emptied this thing out from beans and here I gotta throw wheat into it. And I told myself I would uh, run that last little bit of beans out, I guess into a bucket or something. I gotta get the auger up to here. If you saw my uh, echo, sorry, couldn't resist. Um, my short video there, I got started running wheat, what is for me yesterday. And I wasn't planning on opening up the bin today because it was supposed to be raining by noon. We had a couple of showers that just missed us. Things are still kind of tough. But now they're saying more like one, two o'clock before the rain gets here. And I guess, you know, the biggest thing is I'm going to climb back up there and close the lid. But if once again, if I, if I do nothing, I'll get nothing done. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and dump the wagons, get them in the bin. I can run some air through them whatnot be ready for when things do dry out and who knows maybe i'll get enough dry weather sun was out um like i say the grass definitely feels damp and tough it's not gonna cut good but maybe i can get a little bit more run before the rain gets here so i guess the first thing is to well let's climb up there someone asked about crocs it's a sneaker day Guess if I gotta climb a bin, it's probably safer. Something with laces. There's the weed over there, you can see. Now I got worked around the test plot, um, some headlands done, and just a small swatch in there. Didn't get going until about five in the afternoon. Had been getting the combine ready and had everything done and decided, well, let's go see how she runs. And it was a humid day, so that didn't help things either. There, all I gotta do is hit the hole. There's my grain dryer. There's my corn. The rain really helped it recover. It should be twice that height for this time of year, but there are guys that got corn around that's just germinating. Like half the field germinated and the other half didn't until we got rain there at the beginning of July. And now they've got like three leaf corn next to waist high corn. It's just crazy. And it's not that they did anything wrong. I'm not picking on anyone. It's just uh, the later it got in and it didn't matter if it was worked or no-till. I think to no-till had a slight advantage because there was more moisture in the ground, but just, uh, We'd run out of moisture. It wasn't nothing to make the seeds grow until July. That's just gonna be a mess to have. Uh, there's no way corn that germinates in July is gonna make much of anything here in Michigan. So, there's a right, couple of bushels in that auger and the wells. That's like enough to take the wife out to dinner. I'll put it in one of these old wagons.
that didn't look too bad, maybe just a hair farther. We'll double check one more time before I unhook. I shut her off because then I can relieve the pressure, makes it decouple easier on the hydraulics. I like that. It'll definitely work. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now for the age old question, which tractor to put on the auger? Hmm. I thought to myself, okay, what has a battery and a 540 PTO shaft? And then it came to me, the 1955. Is anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Good on oil. This has got the sticky solenoid, so we'll see how good she wants to start. Better turn off the air conditioning. Come on, sticky solenoid. It's sinking. There she goes. Probably should look into that. Well, the other reason to pull this one out, I gotta open the doors to get the combine out anyway, so one less barn to open up. I think I can even get it out without starting the combine. Barely. Whoops! I think that's gonna work. I feel like this portion of the video needs to be air conditioned. Oh yeah. Did I get it in the first try? Ooh, I might be a little far. No, nope, no. I think that's gonna work. That's gonna work. Wipe you on my shirt again. We'll start out slow. Be gentle. Hmm, I wonder what was in this wagon last.
looks like the combine's doing a good job. Mmm, sweet, crunchy. Let's go see the first bit drop in. I'm gonna make it in time. Oh, I missed the center by just a wee bit. But as it gets closer to the top, it centers up. Cause it's kind of throwing that way. I think that's gonna work. Feels like she's warmed up. Warmth in the engine oil. Makes you wonder if it's really gonna rain. Of course, sometimes that's what you need for a good thunderstorm is some sunshine. <laughs> we got the bin fan out now. It helps blow some of the dust and chaff out. Reminds me why I got the grain vac.
Did he get it? First try. This wagon's gonna have the dirty wheat. I always put the first dump in the second wagon. Reason being that there's some clean stuff on the bottom. I don't have a, until I get it adjusted, you get some, you know, well, there's little bits of other grain in the combine and this just kind of helps it spread out better if it's uh, the second thing in, it hits the pile and it's gonna blend with the rest of the wagon, but. I guess the biggest thing is I'm not blocking air ducts in the floor or putting a pile of uh, crud right where the well for the auger is and then maybe that bridge is up and doesn't want to go out. Ooh, I better speed her up. in this first uh that first dump that's at the bottom where right now the top's coming through where i had it all dialed in mm. i think i need to save some of that to make flour with not seeing any of course it's been so dry Actually, fewer shrunken kernels than I was anticipating. No mold or anything like that. Oh, the pile, she's reaching for the door. Who would ever think a guy could get it so excited about watching wheat go in a bin, but. Harvest can be stressful, but when you got a good harvest, good quality, well, there's just definitely a sense of satisfaction there that's hard to describe. Easy to get excited about when you're a farmer. Now I got some sunshine, a little breeze. I think maybe I can knock out a few more acres before the rain gets here. Maybe that'll make it rain. We could definitely use it. Straw is still green, so a little more time wouldn't hurt that either. Some of that I got out and felt, I don't think I'd bail it up. It was so wet. I think it might mold. You see there, on some of this early stuff where I was getting the straw through, that straw is still green. There's a green kernel. Right out of the combine. Yeah, you can tell this is a, getting it out of that first dump now. Where all the stuff shakes out. Yum. Probably somewhere around a thousand bushels between the two wagons. I didn't have them chuck full. It was about sunset, and boy, if I thought it was wet before, it really started cutting tough after that. So I called her a day.
stay. I said stay. Stay. Now, well, don't need the, I left the door open, surprise. I think we've all done that one before. I know I have. Now I got a green bag. I'm gonna suck it up. All right, long drive. I gotta take this across the road. That's a nice thing. If it was one of the farther away fields, I probably wouldn't even move the equipment around because I'd know more and get it in place and then it'd be raining and I'd have to try to get it all put away. So definitely love farming the close by fields. birds out. Now the cranes are already looking for a meal. I suppose I should have looked at the radar on the phone before I drove all the way over here. Long drive. <laughs> I'll check it here in a moment. I think what I'm going to do is work along here. This opens it up to the bigger the part of the field, so there's headlands back there. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more green back there because it tends to be wetter, it's heavier soil. So probably better yield too, but it might be slow going. I know over that way I could see green in it from all the way up here, so just trying to pick and choose. Run the drier stuff for now and let the other stuff keep having some time. It wasn't gonna rain. I got another field about a mile and a half from here that's on sandy ground, and probably the majority of that's pretty good to run. But once again, I don't want to move equipment just to have to turn around and bring it back because it's raining. So let's go get the combine. Maybe we'll see what the way radar says. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Oh yeah, grain tank is full. So let's see. Bring up this handy dandy app. Find my current location. Okay, there. Please add some points. I'm trying to remember how to do that. Let's 
Easy, I'm a calculator, calculator, calculator. What was that first figure? 1234? Um, and then the other one was what? <laughs> oh, memory. 2140. 2140. Made three passes that way. Plus one of 12. What was it? 34. Close enough. 7,654 feet times, uh, that's an 18 foot head, probably ain't cutting that wide all the time, but we'll go with it, 137,000 square feet, divide that by 43,560 square feet an acre, 3.16 acres, so then we go, the bin's supposed to be 227 bushels, we'll go with, we'll go with 220 just to be safe, divide by 3.16. About 70 bushel an acre. So I wasn't too far off with my guesstimate earlier. Hoping for a little more originally, but after the spring we've had, I can live with that. Let's go dump.
I think I am gonna call it a day. I've had a few sprinkles. Definitely uh, stuff was already tough enough between green straw and high humidity. It's just uh, kind of been a slow go at it. Just don't like to cut very good when it's tough like that. It's kind of damp. Um, you can see um, that doesn't show. That doesn't show up so well. It isn't blinking on my end. Um, give me that in the rearview mirror. Not a lot of dust coming out the back. Which tells me things are kind of on the damp side, so. Radar is showing me about a half an hour and I am gonna have rain. So I am gonna dump this load. Man. Yeah, it's time to call it a day. My air conditioner ain't draining well, so it's spitting water on me every now and then, but it's put out cold air, so that's, you know, that's the ultimate thing. But, uh, yeah, let's see, uh, finish up here, go dump this on the wagon. The green wagon is full, there goes a rabbit. Green wagon is full, the red wagon has one dump on it. It's about to have two, look at all the stuff hanging up on the cutter bar. this away, comb them over, get that. I should have enough time to dump it in the bin before the rain gets here. And uh, get that put away, close the bin up. We'll hopefully have it all done before the rain starts. It's damp in here, man. Got the water there. Let's see about getting those drain tubes cleaned out too.
Now the raindrops are starting to come down. So I guess the time that about right. Not too bad yet, but things were gonna get wet. Pull this in and then uh, the wagons and and I'll be good. show up. Wagons are empty, bins closed up. Just gotta pull these back in. Got a little bit of rain already and then it stopped, but there's more on the way. So, as always, I appreciate everybody watching and we will see you in the next one.